And at the same store, where I was working on that heat kit, I got another call for the produce fruit cup unit not working. Looking outside the condenser unit, I can see that uh, I can see that the compressor has got a big old ball of ice around it. This makes me wonder why is it not running right now? Pop off these little flathead screws, open it up, and you can see a big old ball of ice right there. So I want to see why it ain't running. I want to see if all of a sudden we lost power, and we didn't. Fan motor obviously works. Why is it so iced up? Looking at our defrost clock here, it's clearly not in defrost. It looks like it was in defrost a little bit ago. Oh, something just happened. I guess it was in defrost. Well, why the hell does it have so much ice on it? All right, let's go back down to the cases and see what the cases are doing. Yeah, so this is obviously frozen. I need to check the evaporators and make sure that that they're fully defrosted because it shouldn't have this much ice on it. That's serious ice. If we have that much ice on it, that means our evaporators have some serious ice too. This kind of ice takes a couple days at least, maybe a week, to form. And it just dropped back out. So that tells me it's going out on low pressure because it's icing up. I connect my suction line gauge to it. See, right now it shows uh, about 90 to 16. Just came back on. You'll see it's going to sh uh, shut off here in a second. That's a trick, by the way. If it's really close to tripping, you can hit the low pressure control and it'll push it over the edge. So here I got the case. It's all, both, both of these fruits right here. This is one case, second case, third case. I can clearly feel I've got no airflow here. A little, little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. A little there, a little more, a little more there. None here. Some here. Not really much there. And here's what I revealed. I got a bunch of ice on this one at least. This is the first one. It is RTU 10A, which is this one. So get my hoses ran, get my covers off, and have to end up taking the whole wall down and defrosting them. And this took a long time, so I'm gonna speed this up for you guys. This is what happens when your drain starts acting like a bitch. You need it to start taking off, but it doesn't want to. It gets plugged for some stupid reason. See, it still ain't clear. Alright, I gotta take a break because my water is getting too high. Gotta let it drain some. There, now that's more like it. That's more like how it is supposed to drain. Shit was getting full. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, cool. Now I can proceed. Almost got it here. Because, yeah, I'm ready to close this up and roll out. Alright, that's it. That's it, I got it. Alright, so before my phone goes dead out here, because it's about to, let me show you guys what's going on up here. Got temperature control. 
right there, right? Yeah, right there. So, to do this, it's going to bring on all three cases. So I had it like right here when I left a couple weeks ago because it was like right there. And I put it back down there because it was working like that before. So now our cases are back on and let's see if we can make them hit set point before get everything put back together. So now I got airflow. Uh-huh. And I've had airflow over here. I don't think this one over here froze up. Yeah, this these ones over here didn't freeze up. Only this one froze up. Like I said, this one is see how this one is RTU 10B. Well, this one is RTU 10A. This one over here is RTU 10C. That's that condenser we were up at on the roof a minute ago at the beginning of the video. All right, so unit number A is reaching set point. Let's see where these ones are at. This one, hell no. And this one, hell no either. I don't know what the hell's wrong with these things. Shit, that looks like we got a bad dryer right here. All right, so right now I'm pumping the system down because cases C and B have restricted dryers and I still have to change those. So I'm pumping it down. I have closed my uh, receiver valve and it's pumping down right now, or it should be. So that's what's going down. The dryers are severely restricted, so that's why I still have a high pressure on the high side and it's, it's taking forever to pump down or it's taking forever to equalize because the two two dryers they're so bad that you can see their ice they're building up ice on the uh, on the downstream side but it's getting there all right so it's this one on case C and this one on case B the symptom is this one works good case A but case B and case C do not work good. Not at all. I had ice forming here that way. And also this whole line was iced up as well. You can still see it's kind of shiny because it's cold. Yeah, it's cold and it's not cold over here. All right, now that it's pumped down, I want to take my Make sure I got no pressure here. I don't, but just to be smart about it, I'm gonna take my stem out because I don't want no, I don't like surprises. Not like that. Be careful there. with one a little bigger. Thank you. 
Y voy a estar en el área de Bronx, aquí cosa acá aparte me hace feliz. ¿Dónde? Acá. ¿Allá en la oficina? Sí, ahí. Está bien, men. No me tardo mucho, mucho. No, no se preocupe, yo media hora lo puedo estar ahí. Sí, gracias. Let cool off. <clears throat> oh shit, almost overheated it. It's because almost got it too hot. If you get it too hot, the, the copper will, I don't know what it's called, oxidize or some shit. And then the, the freaking uh, solder will just roll off. It will never adhere to the copper because you cooked it or something. That has happened before and that sucks. Alright. Better. Ridiculous, I know. <laughs> but whatever works, right? Alright, so this part ain't hot over here. Put my valve spin back. Okay, B is done. Now I'm set up on unit C. There, that should make you guys happier. Let's go here first, yeah, here first. I think I'm running out of acetylene. I do think that's occurring. There we go. It is. Yeah. We're running out of freaking acetylene. It's late, man. I'm tired, y'all. Give me a break. Shit. It's way too much freaking solder. Totally don't need that much. Right about like that. Come on, acetylene, don't die on me right now. It's so close.
One more, Sadeline. Come on, one more. I'm gonna be careful not to let my solder drip here because the pan ain't wet here. All right, that's where it's at right there. All set. Damn, I almost forgot to put that that uh, valve stem back in. Oh my god, that would have sucked. I'm so glad I remembered that. Well, on a somewhat brighter note, it's a lovely day or night, middle of the fucking night out here and all right we're back right oh yeah I do this too I loosen these to bleed any pressure out of the lines after I pump them before I solder right close them hose back up boom 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 okay it is receiver valve open time. Yeah, I don't have a service wrench because I always lose them. And I get sick of spending $15 for, for them every time I gotta buy one. So I just don't buy them anymore. Oh yeah. Let's see, about to come on. Right about uh, somewhere around here. It's gonna come on. Right about there. Let's see. And it should run this time and not short cycle. pressures right now that my two cases that were not working a little bit ago are working now okay so if this worked all three of them are gonna be cooling that's beautiful this one was reading 55 earlier when that one down there was already below set point ah that's beautiful too oh my god awesome so quick rehab recap uh, when I started working on this equipment, this whole side was frozen. All of this, this wasn't at temp. So I thought the system wasn't working. Go upstairs, up on the roof, found that it was short cycling, but that this was frozen. So I had to get rid of the ice first. Once I got rid of the ice, I quickly determined after turning it on that that system works, but these two systems did not work. Look at the dryers and both dryers, which were like that right there. Both of them were sweating from here that way. Actually, I didn't get a close look at this one. I looked at it from over here down this way. I saw the frost and then I looked a little further and I didn't see frost over here. So I knew that this was messed up. This one I did see closely and it was frosting on that side so both dryers were plugged go upstairs pumped it down and replace the dryers as y'all have seen this whole process hopefully y'all enjoyed it I'm gonna put all this shit back together 